So, let me tell you another interesting uh, verse which occurs in Leelavati which has to do primarily with the sums of natural numbers and the sums of squares of natural numbers and the sum of sums. So, do you get a feel of what is sum of sums? So, you have uh, 1, 2 can be visualized as 1 plus 1, 3 can be visualized as 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, if you want to find uh, the sum of n, n ones. So, you have you put a summation 1 then put 1 i is equal to 1 to n basically n times 1 is, is basically n. If you visualize the first order sum, so for instance 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. If one were to find the sum of sums, so I have the first series is simply 1, second series is 1 plus 2, third series is 1 plus 2 plus 3, fourth series is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on the nth series is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n. So, what would be the formula for this? So, all this has been nicely put in one single verse by Bhaskara and this is in Dodhaka Vrta, very interesting meter. Saika padaghana padartha mathai anka yuti kila sankalita kya sadviyute na pade na vinigni syatri hrta khalu sankalita ikyam. The word which is used for uh, summation is sankalita. See, sankalita means sort of put together. Okay. Pada is the term that they use for n, the last term. Okay. So, if you have a series, the number of terms is pada, referred to as pada. So, the formula that he says is saika pada. Saika pada means one added to the pada. Okay. Saika pada ghana. Ghana is multiplying. Okay. Saika pada ghana. Padardham, padardham means half of pada. So, n by 2 into n plus 1. So, which is what we say n into n plus 1 by 2, right. Saika pada ghana padardham. So, what does this represent? This basically represents yekadhyanka yutihi starting with 1 anka yutihi and it is called sankalita. So, all things have been very beautifully defined here. Saika pada ghana padardham atha yekadhyanka yutihi. So, we represent uh, this by the term sankalita, sankalita khya. Then he says sadviyutena padena vinigni. See, so this particular quantity that you have, see, n plus 1 into n by 2, dviyutena padena, dviyutena padena means so, 2 added to n, dviyutena padena vinigni, syat trihrta, trihrta means when it is divided by 3, sankalitaikyam. So, you get the sum of uh, these sums, see. So, n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3. So, this will be the second order sankalita. So, if you want to have sankalita of the second order sankalita, you will have n plus 3 by 4. So, this has been very beautifully uh, demonstrated as to how you get this formulae. This uh, normally, if you look into the school textbooks, so they basically try to uh, explain this first order sum, see n into n plus 1 by 2. So, you arrange 1, 2, 3 and so on up to n, you arrange uh, in the reverse order, you add each of the terms each of the terms will be n plus 1 and there are n. So, therefore, n into n plus 1, 2 s n is equal to n into n plus 1, therefore, s n the sum of the uh, numbers is divided by 2. So, this is what you say, but uh, this higher order it is not so easy to visualize and uh, also, so he gives a formulae for 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on. So, that uh, is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. So, this is what you have and when you go to this uh, next order 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and uh, here what you will find is uh, simply uh, first order sum square see 
So, n in 10 plus 1 by 2 whole square. How do you get this? These are very beautifully illustrated uh, the demonstrations as to how you get this uh, formulae in the commentaries. So, Bhaskara basically gives you only this, but this higher order sums. So, when are they required? See, so one may get a question. So, uh, unless it has some sort of application, so what is the point in doing all these higher order sums? They have constructed a very beautiful example which has to do with the population dynamics in order to explain where this kind of formulae will find an application. So, that is also a very interesting example. Let me give you the verse. So, this has been uh, given by uh, Narayana Pandita in his Ganita Kaumudi. So, there he poses the problem like this. Prati varisham gauhu sute varishatritayena tarnaki tasyaha vidvanna vimshati varishaihi gaurekasyascha santatim kathaya. It is a very practical example. He says Pratiwarsham means every year. So, this uh, has to do with what people have observed. So, like human beings every year cow can give birth to a calf in principle. So, you imagine a cow. So, Pratiwarsham gauhu sute. Then he says the moment the calf becomes 3 years old. So, it matures enough in order to give birth by itself. Varishatritayena tarnaki, tarnaki means cough. Tasyaha. Now, he asks this question. So, imagine that this happens continuously for 20 years. Tell me what will be the population of cow at the end of 20 years assuming that none of them die. So, what do you think that this number could be? So, when I pose this question, to my students various kinds of answers come. Some people start with hundreds, some people uh, go to thousands and this is actually a very large number. So, which people do not have a hunch for it quickly. So, all kinds of answers come and I do not uh, think anybody has answered quickly in a short period when I teach this. So, with the right answer. This is because the sum of sums has not been taught at the school level. So, if you had learned the sum of sums so, which is basically given by Bhaskara and which is called as Sankali Taikya. You will immediately arrive at the answer. So, the answer I think is something like 2744. So, this is a very huge number. So, this is how actually they illustrate the application of formulae which seem to be naively quite abstract.